In July of this year, Parabella Studios emerged, a joint venture from Mikey Please and Daniel Ojari, both RCA graduates whose student films are amongst the university's best in recent years. The two have collaborated on a number of visually stunning short film projects, including The Jolly Dot, Goodness, Newness, Oldness, Badness, and Please's stellar short film Marilyn Miller, featuring the voice of Josie Long and animated in his unique, signature stop-motion style. The look of Please's work was established in The Eagleman Stag, his RCA thesis film which proved a breakaway hit at major festivals worldwide, and won the animated short BAFTA in 2011. Yes. This seems about right. Eagleman was like, all in camera, pretty much. There's a few shots where there's some like, facial compositing. Oh, I don't want to admit that. Yeah, I'll admit that, that's fine. I mean, and, uh, and that, so, so yeah, all, all in camera, like model animation, really like the simplest, simplest thing to possibly do. And that was like through wanting a particular kind of aesthetic and process, but, but also just like straight up necessity. I was just like, you know, don't have time. Don't have time to do, you know, a bunch of post-production. It was kind of shooting up to the day. On, on Marilyn, it's, it's slightly different. I mean, everything is, based on an in-camera shot, so there's nothing in there that's totally fabricated. But there are, there, there are, there are elements, there's probably, there's probably more of a mixed media. But there's nothing completely CG, like everything's solid puppets. It's all, you know, just real, crafted stuff. Tirelessly I toil, I spun light into fibre, stacked atom on iron, wove dust into bone. And it was good. Oh. oh, for God's sake. No, it was good. Good. It just... Oh. It was good. I just... Oh. For a long, a long time during the development, it was, it was a guy. And I think it, it was when I began to storyboard it all out and sort of look at some of the images and the story as a whole. I, two things. Like, one, I just didn't really like the guy. And I was like, why don't I like him? And also I just felt like it was too many cliches, you know, this, this image of like a creator and a guy like strutting around and like someone having existential angst. You know, quite often like the idea of like an affirmative female lead is someone who's like a strong independent woman. But I'm like, actually that's sort of, there's something really patronizing about that too. Like so often, you know, female roles aren't funny, you know, and you're like, why is that, why do, why are females always portrayed as like the straight person in a comedy setup? It's really stupid because like all my female friends are like really funny and like why, and they're really stupid too, <laughs> you know, they're just like, they make fools out of themselves as much as everyone else. I mean, I just tried it out in the storyboard stage, like would this work? And it totally did and I was like, I'm, I absolutely feel more endeared to this person. Marilyn, tell us about this piece. Well, this was a portrait of my uncle, Isaac. And he died in two years ago. He loved the sea, hence the seagull. Mm, this must mean a great deal to you. Yes, it took ages. There's something about Josie's voice that, you know, you just immediately like her. She's just really likeable. She's really likeable. Yeah. She's incredibly funny. She's very intelligent. Uh, I think, you know, there's, there's all these sort of wonderful things about her that uh, I wanted. I wanted for my, <laughs> my, <laughs> my character, Marilyn. Working alongside Mikey Please is Daniel Ojari, whose own Royal College of Art short Slow Derek earned him similar acclaim on the festival circuit, winning grand prizes at several major festivals and a Cartoon Door nomination in 2011. I've helped Mikey on various projects ever since uh, we met in Wimbledon. I've been sort of making stuff for him. Uh, <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, but yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've worked on a lot of of stuff that he's made, which, um, which has been great. The project that I'd worked with Mikey on before we worked on Marilyn Miller, I was sort of making a lot of the puppets, which I was, it was the first time that I was learning how to 
kind of make stuff with Mikey's technique, which is uh, using sort of foam and carving it and threading wire through it, um, which is actually just really, really annoying and really fiddly. Uh, and you have to throw like buckets of it away before you get. That's not um, <laughs> well. No, Mikey does it. Mikey does it just yeah, in one. Yeah, you do it badly. <laughs> Mikey made majority of the puppets. It's quite difficult to, to do, especially like the faces and things like that, like it's a real, the design is, is in the making as well because you can go wrong so so easily and then it's um, it's something completely different so it worked well, Mikey making all the, all the puppets, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there, Daniel? Oh, down in this box, yeah. um, well I've just got some little heads. Some little heads? Those look like various or sizes and right. shapes. And how do you make those little heads? You sort of carve them out of little bits of foam mm. um, with a knife. Do you, do you do it meticulously, like little bit by bit, little bit, or...? Not little bit by little bit, no. Uh, one big, big bit. One big swipe? Yeah, so you've got to yeah. do it in one. Great. Um, do you have any good scars? Uh, no, but I can make them. Could That's you make one now? <laughs> this is um, a single frame from a crash of the wave. There's a moment where a wave crashes up against the camera. And that's probably like the longest shot ever done. Oh, uh, right. Because every single frame of the wave is sculpted like that. So even though like the it's like two seconds. Yeah. It's just... Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> you know, doing it was like an ocean like crashing over rocks and then like bursting up against the screen. So that's how the most inefficient way to <laughs> do water. Yeah, I just filmed it. The most time consuming one in a sense was the like backwards forest growing oh, yeah. scene. Because that was both of us for I'm pretty sure it was a week, it was four days or four days just, just solid. Amazing. Yeah, oh, many four like sixteen-hour days or something. Yeah, Obs like obscene. You can do yeah. everything in animation. Yeah, it's a sort of Frankenstein monster of every other art form. You know, you can take a piece of music and sculpture and photography and drawing and all these things and smoosh them together into animation. It literally is the best form of art ever. <laughs> I think it is. I think it is. It's, it's great, but it's really hard. So I don't know if I like doing it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, that was fun. I could do that all day. <laughs>